I'm Luya from Leia X and University of Tokyo. Um, today I will talk about what we want to do in this Eastern Foundation grant. So let's start with a quick introduction of our team. Uh, Leia X is a blockchain startup based on Tokyo, and we have two research projects. One is a research on Casper, and another one is Zero Chain, which is a um, zero knowledge blockchain based on substrate. And Casper Research is supported by Ethereum Foundation, and Zero Chain is supported by uh, Web3 Foundation. So I'm working on the Casper project, so I will talk about what we have done so far in this year and what we want to do from the today. From today. Yeah, so we started to get involved in Casper Research from the former verification project. So we verified very fundamental lemmas and theorems of CBC Casper, including asynchronous safety and state transition. And very recently, we finally finished the verification of finality detection rule of CBC Casper, which is kind of similar to the six confirmation rule in Bitcoin. But in CBC Casper, it's much, much more complicated. So we think it's important to verify that it's actually correct. And then we eventually started to work on an academic paper of CBC Casper, where we try to systemize the knowledge of the current research of Casper and try to fix some mistakes in the white papers, which is accepted in small academic conferences. And these days, I am more, we are work, more working on theory side, including an, an analysis of attack on LMD Ghost and liveness analysis of Casper FFG. I will talk about these results tomorrow, 1 p.m., so please join us if you are interested. So what is our mission of this Eastern Foundation grant? The first mission is to continue to publish academic papers. I think the current problem in the Casper research process is the resources are scattered over the, over the internet. So when you want to learn about Casper, you should read white papers, um, research, research posts, YouTube videos, Medium posts, and even Twitter sometimes. So this results in a situation that to catch up Casper research is very hard, and there is a very, very high entry barrier into the research community, especially for a bit separated community like Japan. And also, there is very, very little voluntary work by academia. I mean, Casper is like a consensus in the wild for academic people. So there's really few people working on Casper for their academic work. So in my opinion, yes, Casper research is ongoing, but we need some systemized papers for the checkpoints of the research. I think the biggest merit of publishing academic papers is simply that we can get more people working on the research. You know, top conference publications get attention of the professors, PhD students, masters, postdocs, so they might get interested in Casper, and they might want to work on that. Currently, Casper research is mostly from inside of the Ethereum community, so there's no academic work on that. And another merit, I think, is the peer review system in academia encourages you to write a paper in a super, super understandable way. Because in most cases, the reviewers of conferences does not exactly working on the same topic. So this allows you to write a paper which is understandable without interaction. This is, I think, super important for people who are not confident in their English conversations, like Japanese communities. Another mission of us is to be a layer one research hub in Japan. So the current status of the research community in Japan is a bit, it's not that big, and there's only a few core devs and researchers in Japan. I think there's two reasons. One reason is in Japan, there's no crypto giants like Polkadot, Definities, who are likely to give money to developers and researchers. As a result, in Japan, there's little opportunity to work as a blockchain researcher full-time. 
and you know, there's no Ethereum 2.0 team in Japan. Another problem is um, there's no top conference publication from Japanese universities about blockchain. So this does not encourage students to work on, on the blockchain research. And when I say this to my friend, everyone say to me that you should organize some hackathons and a meetup in Japan. It's kind of true, but I do not think hackathon and meetup is a complete solution. Like, so RayIX has organizing the blockchain meetup in Tokyo called Blockchain Tokyo for more than two years every month. It was great to expand the community, but it does not grow them to the core researchers because you know, there's no job in Japan as a blockchain researchers. So yes, we continue to do some host some meetups, but I think the fundamental solution is to simply hire researchers as full-time and to collaborate with universities and teach them the, what is the problem to be solved in the public blockchain. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of the talk. Thanks so much.